To be a great designer, great creator, you have to be interested in the world and in history and in people. She was the product of him thinking, of him talking, of him putting together different bits of world culture. She is the greatest shoemaker of the 20th and 21st century. And we on? Yeah. Don't tell me. All this nonsense? Oh, God. I guess it was fixation since I was a child. I was very in love with it, yes. I still love it. I used to make shoes for this. Is... I was not very quiet boy, no. Never was, never will be. First man on the cover of British Vogue. This is a testament to his style. He was so difficult, I can't tell you. I, when I don't like something, I just give help. Maybe I should have got James Dean or somebody easy. <laughs> You know, I can't remember the last time I wore anybody else's shoes. I mean, I just don't even look at them. Really, it's a thing. Well, I've been hearing that, and I've been hearing the husbands all complaining about <laughs> you love to make your shoes. There is no Manolo Blahnik. It's Manolo. Every woman knows it. My daughter knows what a Manolo is. <laughs> His men's shoes, well, they're just kind of slightly more feminine versions of the women's shoes. <laughs> Myths are created around people the way they have been around Manolo, and I think he doesn't really know how to deal with it. I never had a kind of perception what fame or whatever or known is. You had to show so much of yourself that you were not sure that, that the true self was still inside. It's original, it's a one-off. Ah! My joy in life is spending time in the factories, you see. This is quite sad to say that, but this is the only thing I love. He is the king of shoes. He's a poet. He's up there with Baudelaire. What I do is a sort of passager.